Hey, what's up guys? It's Matty Ice, the Call of Duty Magician, and I'm sure your sub boxes are probably jam-packed with videos about Call of Duty Ghosts, and you're probably wondering, you know, Matty Ice, why do you have to make this video? Why do you have to talk about Call of Duty Ghosts? And I wanted to make this video because I think I've got a different perspective than most people. You know, I'm a pub stomper, and a lot of the guys that are posting the videos, they're predominantly, you know, just catering towards the normal player, the regular, you know, the regular guy that hops on the game for an hour or two a day. And I want to talk about this game from sort of a pub stomping perspective. And additionally, I'm more of an Infinity Ward player at heart. I play a lot more MW3 and MW2 than I do Black Ops in general. And I'm much better at MW3 and MW2 than I am at Treyarch games. So I figured I'd give my opinions on the trailer. So let's get into it. Now, if you guys have any opinions, leave them in the comment section down below. Let me know what you're excited for. And let me know if, you have, if you're really scared about anything, if you're, you think anything's going to be a game breaker or if you're like not looking forward to a certain thing. So let me know in the comment section down below. So the first thing that I'm really looking forward to is the Moab returning. I'm super excited for that. It was always really rewarding back in MW2 and MW3 to get like a nuke or a Moab. And in this game, it's called the Odin Strike. So it's going to be pretty cool. I think it's going to be a 30 gun streak, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Now, Specialist is also returning, which is a lot of fun. You get to run around really fast, like a super soldier, basically. So I'm really glad they're listening to the community. Everyone seemed to love Specialist and the mob, and it's cool that they're bringing that stuff back. One thing that kind of concerns me, though, is that, you know, I'm a little worried about the hit detection. I know they're adding a few new features. They're adding the lean feature, the slide on the knees feature. So I'm worried that might mess up the hit detection. But, you know, it's an Infinity Ward game. They usually do a really good job with the hit detection. If you look in the past... The MW3 had good hit detection. MW2 had the best hit detection of like any Call of Duty. So Infinity War generally does a good job with hit detection. For me, the game needs to play really smoothly. It doesn't matter if, if it's the best thought out game of all time. If it doesn't play smoothly, it doesn't matter. So for me, all of the Infinity Ward games play really smoothly, which is why I think I'm more of an Infinity Ward you know, fan than I am a Treyarch fan. And I think they're going to do a good job with hit detection on this game. Now, speaking of hit detection, they also decided to remove theater mode from this game. And I know a lot of people aren't too happy about that. I know Yum's Crappers was upset. Caesar YT wasn't too happy either. And the thing with theater mode is that, you know, it's nice to have in the game. It's good to be able to record your gameplays and to save them for later. And also to go back and record montage clips and whatnot. But the thing with theater is that some people think it might have caused lag in previous Call of Duties. Like if you look at MW2, it didn't have theater mode and it had perfect hit detection. Now go to Black Ops 1, the very first game that had, had theater mode, that had, you know, some pretty bad hit detection. Then MW3, it had good hit detection, but it had theater mode, so it wasn't as good as MW2 hit detection. So some people think that theater mode is the factor that made MW3 have slightly worse hit detection than MW2 did. We'll see. I, I don't really know for sure, but hopefully there's some you know method behind the madness in taking theater mode out of the game. Now, the last two things I want to talk about are dynamic maps and character customization. So dynamic maps, I'm somewhat excited for this, but also I'm a little bit nervous. I think dynamic maps could be a little bit gimmicky. Like you play the map, you think, oh, this is so cool, man. This is a blast. These maps move around. But I think it could just get a little bit annoying. If you guys remember Black Ops 1 launch, the rocket would go off every single game and shake the screen and give you a seizure, seizure for like half the game. So that was a little bit annoying. Also in Black Ops 1, there was this map called Silo where they're, you know, they'd shoot off these rockets like every five seconds and you literally, you couldn't sound whore at all. Not that you could sound whore anyways in Black Ops 1, but I think that these dynamic maps, it could impede sound whoring a little bit. So I'm really hoping that it doesn't mess the sound engine up too much. And I'm also hoping it just doesn't get it flat out annoying. Like if you look at Resistance, all those cars in the middle of the map, they're a freaking pain in the ass, man. They're so annoying because they'll blow up and kill you at any time. So I'm hoping that's not going to be the same thing with dynamic maps, that you can just die instantly at any time. So we'll see. Now the last thing I want to talk about is character customization. I'm kind of glad they're bringing this into Call of Duty. If you guys have played NFL, you know, FIFA, NBA, um, you know, all the other Call of Duty, or not all the other sports games, you know, from from the 2K company and from uh, the other company that makes the sports games, they always have some feature where, you know, you can customize your own character, your own player, and then play as them through, like, they call it like a dynasty or a fantasy team or whatever. I, I don't know much about sports games, um, but you can take a, one player and you can rank them up, and they're bringing this to Call of Duty, so I think it's cool that they're, you know, letting you, you customize your characters a little bit more and letting your soldier actually be, you know, like 
part of you rather than just some you know randomly generated soldier so i think that's a cool thing as well and the last thing just some concluding remarks i'm glad that they're listening to the community on this one they took out death streaks which is nice and i think it's cool mark rubin he said a quote that really stuck with me he said you know we're thinking everything through in this game not you know nothing is held sacred in this game and what he means by that is that you know they're going to take everything they're going to challenge the specialist package they're going to make sure that it fits well into the game and if it doesn't add to the game then it's probably subtracting and they're going to take it out so i think they're really thinking this game through and i'm hoping they're going to do a nice job let me know your thoughts about the multiplayer trailer in this commentary in the comment section down below are you guys excited for this this game are you guys not too excited let me know down below but guys i hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay the gameplay was a quad moab in the background I'll leave you guys with a little music if there's still some time left in the gameplay but let me know your thoughts about call of duty ghosts i am super excited for this game man i think it's going to be great but uh yeah guys my name is mattias the call of duty magician i hope you guys enjoyed the video drop a like if you guys enjoyed and have a great day guys peace